All right, Alondra, you want to read Hormones Go to School? Hormones Go to School by Miss Aubrey. Hormones help us grow, develop, and reproduce. They travel through our blood on the loose. Hormones have special messages that they share. So? Yeah, like telling your body when to grow more hair. Look, they're saying grow, grow, hair, 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 make less pee, and eat. All right. Hormones are like students, students who travel through the body to make improvements. Cells are like schools where hormones go to work and no, feel cool. No. Where, yeah, can you point to the school? Yeah, that's a school. Hormones go to school in different parts of the body. There is a place for everybody. Look, where's the brain? Do you see a brain? Yeah, there's the brain. All right. Some hormones stay close while others travel far. It just depends on what type of hormone they are. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let's read this line. Each hormone has a certain school it needs to go to. They may stay home, take the bus, or pass right through. School. This hormone goes to school at home. In the body, she has no need to roam. That's an autocrine hormone. Yeah, that's autocrine. All right, let's keep going. A different hormone goes to school in this neighborhood. Where each hormone needs to go is understood. Yeah, the school. That's a paracrine hormone. This hormone travels far to get its job done, passing by the wrong schools until it reaches the right one. Can you find the green school? Where's the green school? No, it's up here. Green school. Just like students, hormones travel in many different ways to get to the place where they spend most of our days. Yeah. Did you like the book? Yeah. All right.